Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this LED illusion mirror. Awesome! For this project, I used this box framed mirror sculpture thing that I found at a home accessories store. I figured that the frame was deep enough to fit the LEDs on the inside, and as it already had a mirror, it seemed perfect for the job. I also used a roll of car window tint film and a strip of colour changing LEDs. First of all, I removed the mirror from the back of the frame and then carefully unstuck the sculpture design from the centre. There we go. Once that was done, it was time to clean up the leftover glue from the mirror and polish it with glass cleaner. Next, I removed the inner wooden frame pieces which hold the glass in place, and then carefully removed the glass itself. I cleaned and polished both sides of the glass, making sure there was no dust particles or contaminants on the glass before applying the tint film. I then cut out a piece of tint film, just big enough to cover the glass. Then it was time for the tricky part, unpeeling the film. I found it best to gently stick down three of the corners and then use two pieces of tape to unpeel at the other. As I carefully unpeeled the film, I sprayed it with soapy water. There we go. I then sprayed the glass with more soapy water and applied the film. Using an old gift card, I thoroughly squeezed out all the air pockets from the film. After leaving the film to dry for a couple of hours, I then trimmed the edges and placed the now tinted glass into the frame. You need to make sure the tinted side of the glass is facing upwards so it faces the mirror at the back of the frame. I then carefully refitted the inner frame pieces to hold the glass back in place. Once that was done, it was time to measure and chop off a length of LEDs and find a spot for the external wire to fit. I carefully used a saw to make a gap big enough to fit the wire through at the bottom of the frame like so. Then it was time to unpeel and stick the LEDs around the edge of the inner frame pieces. The LEDs were made so I had to chop them at a certain point. This left me with a few extra LEDs that couldn't fit inside the frame. Thankfully I was able to wrap them around the edge of the mirror and stick them to the back. You'll see me do this later. Once the LEDs were stuck in place, I found a few pieces of wood and applied them to each side of the inner frame. I did this because I wanted a slightly bigger gap between the LEDs and the mirror. This should create a more effective reflection for the illusion. After once again dusting and polishing both the glass and the mirror, it was time to refit the mirror to the back of the frame. There we go. As you can see, the leftover LEDs squeezed around the edge of the mirror and stuck to the back, like so. I then placed some tacks around each side and bent them around to hold the mirror in place. Done. 
done. After that, it was ready to test out. Nice. The tinted film works as a two-way mirror and re-reflects the LEDs onto the mirror, creating this cool illusion. So there we have it, an LED illusion mirror. I'll see you next time.